Hey guys, welcome to the hardest class you've ever taken, your yoga nap. Now before we get started, let me just say, let's grab all of our yoga props, literally all of them. Or if you have like a bunch of them, then just grab, you know, two of everything. And if you don't have yoga props, then I'll suggest some big fluffy pillows, things that we can use, maybe even couch cushions to make sure that our postures are just really comfortable so we can zone out and get a little bit of a snooze. Now before we get going, let me tell you how to move closer to us online because I'd absolutely love that. So make sure that you're subscribed right here on our YouTube channel, that you're signed up for our free weekly letter, and that you're following us on Facebook and Instagram, four things. So when you're ready, let's get started. Alrighty, our first pose will be Supta Baddha Konasana, so our climbed bound angle pose. Grab a bolster or the firmest cushion that you have and make sure that it's the length of your spine at least. Go ahead and lay it down on your yoga mat and then grab a blanket. It doesn't need to be a yoga blanket, but something that you can fold over that will give you an inch and a half to two inches of height so you have a pillow back here. I like to always have my eye pillow, so it's really calming, really relieving. I don't know what it does with your glands and all that, but I'm sure that you know someone in Chinese medicine could educate you on that. Um, but if you don't have one of these, then go ahead and grab a hand towel or something that you can lay across your eyes. We also want something to go underneath our legs. So that can be blocks, that can be yoga blankets, that's what I'll do, or that can be uh, couch pillows or something along those lines. Okay, so once you gather all of your props together, then situate yourself right in front of your bolster. You wanna have about a hand's width distance between that and your pelvis, and then ensure just by feeling behind you what the direction of it, so that when you lay back, your spine will be supported on the center line. Take the soles of your feet together. Take the props for underneath your legs and hug them in underneath your ankles and underneath your outer hips or wherever you can and then begin to slowly walk yourself down onto your support. Reach behind you, grab your pillow and snuggle it to the edging of the shoulder so you get that feedback of something pressing into your shoulder. That can also be really relieving to the nervous system. Now, press into your feet, hover your hips, sweep your tailbone towards the ankles and then lower your pelvis back down and see if that doesn't make your low back go long, easy, feeling nice and good. And maybe it puts more of a stretch into your inner grin and thigh, that's perfect. Make sure that your leg support is hugged in enough so that you can relax your legs fully into it. And then make sure that you can access the whole front of the body with breath. So on your inhales, Start it at the very base of the pelvis and then let it start to fill up the chamber of the torso all the way up to the chest. You can complete the pose by taking your eye pillow, softening on top of your eyelids, using the heels of your palms to kind of nestle it, snuggle it into place. And then I always like to, from there, pick my skull up and stretch it back a little bit so I can ensure that the back of the neck is getting really long as well. Then as you keep the chest ascending, soften the arms, the elbows to the floor, palms face up, and let yourself go into a little yoga nap.
stay as you are. Gently begin to bring some movement into the tips of the fingers. Let it go really slowly like you're trying not to wake up. You know, like if you get up to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, it's kind of like you're trying to stay as powered down as possible. If you want, you can snow angel your arms overhead alongside your ears, lengthen them away from your body. Then snow angel them back down, help the legs come together. Soles of the feet on the floor, heel toe your feet wider so that your inner knees can rest on each other. Whatever way makes the most sense for you to come to a seated position, maybe rolling off your props over to one side, just kind of being like a little puddle. Then pressing on up to a seat. Blink the eyes open a few times and let in just enough light that you can discern your surroundings so that we can change our props, but we're not overstimulating our system. So turn to face your bolster or your pillow. Add some height to it with your blankets. Fold them over in such a way that you can lay them on top. I'm gonna take a couple. And just so you know, we'll move this towards a twist. So if you already know the twist or how you like to set yourself up. But the higher it is, the more gentle this will be. And we'll see if I like these two. This looks a little high. Okay. Come on to your right hip. So your right hip is right by that stack of props. Take your feet, side saddle them out over to the left. So you're sitting on your right buttocks. Your left hip might be a little bit lifted. That's okay. Now, Draw your belly button back to your spine, up through the chamber of the ribs as you turn your heart to face your props. Hands on the floor, begin to walk yourself forward, laying your heart on top of your props, ribs forward out of the pelvis, soften down onto the forearms. This actually feels good for me. And then you decide if you wanna rest your right cheek. That's what I'll take just cause it's more gentle. Or if you want to complete the twist, you can do the left cheek. Now, if you have an eye pillow, a lot of times what I like to do is take all the sand into the one side. Let's see if this will work. And lay it across my top eye and my head so that I still get that dark covering. And if you're just using a towel, then that's even less of an issue. You can just place the towel over it so you can get nice, dark space.
And in your very own time, you can begin to pitter-patter your way on up out of this side. Link the eyes open just enough that you can make some changes. Spin your body around. So now your props are off your left hip. Side saddle your legs over to the outside of your pelvis. Breathe vertical length from your pelvis all the way out through your skull. Turn your heart over your props and walk yourself forward. Lengthen your ribs away from your pelvis so you get nice and long there. Soften down onto your forearms. And then choose which cheek and if you want to cover the eye. In your very own time, you can begin to pitter-patter your way on up out of this side. Softly blink the eyes open just enough so you can get where you're going. Now, if that was enough, you can finish off your practice here. Or if you want to continue resting, you can do a child's pose over this. So you can go back to Supta Baddha Konasana, the first pose and rest for just as long as it feels right or that you have time for. So thank you so much for joining in today's practice. I hope you had a wonderful yoga nap.